It's Geekonomics, back at it with another show for you. Mike and Brian here to tell you about all things going on in the world of nerd and geekdom. How you doing, Brian? Good. How, how are you, Mark? I'm fine, thanks. Thanks for being so motivated and excited to be here. I am excited to be here. <laughs> Just your answer was very good. I'm fine. I'm fine. That's good. Um, we got a lot going on this week. We do. We do. There's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of stuff going on this coming weekend as well. Well, let's get to that in a minute. I okay. want to talk about the big the big phone call you just got right now. What is that? Like, late breaking news. Mark got a text message. No, someone's asking me a technical question, so I'm trying to help. Him read out. it out loud. See if we can answer it here on the show. Live. Okay, we're going to do it live. Right. Okay. Yeah, read it, read it out loud. I'll tell you if I can answer this. Okay. Uh, hey, I have another technical question for you. This is from James, Kylie's friend that he went to college with. He's now a pastor at a church. And he's trying to hook up video for the church. Mm -hmm. So he's asking me for questions. I have a Foscam dome camera that needs to be plugged into an internet router. The camera is going to be down near the front of the church. What kind is the best kind of cable that would work for that? So what you're going to want to do, James, take a computer, unplug it, throw it out the window, <laughs> go home, pour yourself a beer, and uh, turn your phone off and return on Monday and see what that brought you. That's terrible advice. <laughs> this is why you're the worst public access person ever. <sighs> it works for me. And 60% of the time, it works 100% of the time. No, uh, who knows? Google it. Google it. Do you ever say that to him? Do you ever say it to somebody like, sometimes, like, um, like while you're at work? I'll, no, like, I'll get like if questions. Someone comes up to you at the, the, the no, no, public no, no, access no. and like, no. hey, I have a question for you, Brian. Like, you know, why don't you Google it? Yeah, I get pissed. No, <laughs> my own personal time. I'm, this has no questions about work. This is just, I'll get questions sometimes from people on my cell phone asking me things and I'm just kind of like, Google it. I, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know. What do you mean? Who's, like, who asked be you like, random questions? Hey, was this person in this movie? Well, because you know just about everything about But I'll be like, I, I don't know. If I had a music question, you'd be the first person I'd text. Well, thank you. Before Googling it. But. Because I'd be like, oh. Well, I so never ask any of my friends anything unless it's pertaining to something I know. But if it's just like. Well, if someone like brought up like at a party or something and I was at or some place and someone was talking about Twin Peaks. Well, then I would And be they the said person. something. I would text Ben. Yeah, Ben. I wouldn't text you. Why? I, I know. Ben, ben would know ben more Ben knows than more about it than you do. I'm pretty. Uh, pretty good now you're kind of just lackey in that show to ben ben's knowledge i'm not the lackey i'm not no, i'm not wise, you knowledge wise oh yeah ben definitely yeah. yeah 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 but i'm not don't don't i'm not like you know show up a half hour late because i got my excuse book cramped I'll because i'll get here when i get here i'm coming to work i'll get here when i get here <laughs> i gotta be there at 11 I was here at 11.20. It was pretty nah, good for me. It's something. It works. That's on time for me. It is something. Um, so, though, the big the big thing that dropped this week. Yes. Did you watch it yet? Multiple times. I've been waiting to watch you, it you right now. You've been waiting? Yeah. Really? So, this is from the guy who usually watches everything like instantaneously. And then not I'm like, really? why did you not wait until we did it on the show? Well, here's why. I saw the Tomb Raider film on Friday, thinking maybe they'll show the trailer before that. They could see it on the big screen. Yeah. They didn't. It but was um, Black Panther when I saw it. The new trailer? No, the other one. Yeah, the obviously. One. They just dropped it this week. I know what I'm just saying, but there was like the yes. older one was on. Well, obviously, Black Panther, Black Panther yeah. you're going to see the. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I did enjoy the new Tomb Raider film. I thought it was very good. I think, yeah. I think it has potential. They set it up for a sequel. I hope. I hope that it does it well enough to greenlight a sequel because I feel that this series could grow into its own to become something better than the first movie. The first movie on its own was an enjoyable action flick, mm. and it was uh, my story-wise, it was generic. The bad guy who um, I can't think of his his real name. He he was in. Um, the Hateful Eight and Vice Principals. He's been in tons and oh, tons of guy. things. Yeah, I know you're talking about. He's an amazing actor. I felt like they really didn't use his potential to be a great villain. He was a v very vanilla, generic 
bad guy that you would actually see in in in, in a video game actually um but the set pieces were almost straight out of the game um i watched it and i i thought to myself oh my god i want to like i felt like i was playing the game it, they did such a great job and walton goggins yeah he yeah. he is one of my favorites he's amazing he just played it straight and i was kind of hoping they'd give him a little something to work with um but that being said i think this is above average kind of if i had it, the scale bad to great to amazing and then the middle was good and great was in between good and amazing this was great mm. like it was in that it's in that sweet spot that they set this up for a sequel. The sequel, a good writer can come in, use the same director, a writer, a new writer can come in and make the, the sequel even better. And it wasn't corny. It wasn't cheesy like the, the Angel Jolie ones. Um, this was just a, you felt like you're watching almost like an Indiana Jones flick. Um, it could have had a little bit more. It was also weird. My brain has been uh programmed by marvel to laugh every 10 seconds mm. and to have some sly quip mm. uh, it's weird because this movie plays it serious yeah. and the only humor in the movie is from one character nick frost yes that's why he's there but he's he's in it probably less than 10 minutes in the whole thing but that to me is like wow that's the way Action flicks used to be. Mm. Now, because of Marvel has programmed well, it's a comic us, book. It's we to need to have a. We need to have to laugh yeah. or quip. Like even Black Panther, there was a few sparse jokes. Yeah, it wasn't very it was quippy. Very, it was very serious. Total, uh, not uh, like Winter Soldier. It was very yes, not jokey. Yeah, all. so it was weird because a part of me was. There like, has been a lot of them. It's just been the recenter ones have been that way, like Ant Man and. Uh, Guardians Thor, 1, 2, Guardians movies. Thor 3. But like the other ones have been kind of non-jokey. Yeah. Um, but well, Walter Goggins, guys, speaking of Ant-Man, is going to be in Ant-Man and Wasp as Sonny Birch. Oh, is he's, he? I think he's the villain of this next movie. He always plays a villain. Yeah, he is. <laughs> um, but he's a good villain. He does. But uh, yeah, go see Tomb Raider. It's an enjoyable film. I mean, I just hope to make a sequel. <coughs> the ending, there's two tags mm. that kind of show that they want to do a potential sequel. Um, I thought the woman, uh, she actually got won an Oscar uh, for oh god, a movie a couple years ago. She's really good. Oh, like, Mike Hander, the lead actress. Yeah, the plays Tomb Raider. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Laura Croft. Yeah. Um, I think she got supporting actress. I remember. Was it was it supporting? I think so. And uh, the story was predictable and kind of like it was uh, all right. You kind of mm. like, oh, I wish they did a little bit more story wise, but for mm. what it was, it's enjoyable. So I, I was kind of hoping I would see that that, that Avengers trailer before yeah. that. Um, I didn't, so I was like, you know what? I'll just wait for the podcast. We can watch it, mm. and I can be uh, excited. Speaking of movies that we've seen over the week, uh, since you're talking about Tomb Raider, I uh, am doing my going back over Oscar films and watching them. As opposed to like you do before this, the you thing never happens. watch Oscar films. No, I've been starting to get into it, like catching up on Oscar films. Yeah, I watched uh, Lady Bird, which was really good. Yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it a lot. It was very funny. Uh, I watched Two Billboards, which was awesome. I thought it was very good, very well done. Yeah, it was good. Uh, I really loved Rockwell's character. I thought he was perfectly like obnoxious and annoying at the beginning. Oh, he uh, was the whole time. Yeah. But uh, then I watched uh, a non-Oscar flick, but I watched uh, Baby Driver. Yeah, I love Baby Driver. Yeah. It was one of my favorite films. It was kind of weird because it's kind of weird now to watch it after things have happened with the people that were in the film. I talked about uh, the same thing. Yeah. So it was just kind of strange to like <laughs> see that person and be like, oh, yeah. Yeah, but you know what? He played a good villain in the yeah, movie. Yeah, well, he's like a villainish non-villain. He was the, the main villain. Yeah, but at the end, he was kind of like the... That movie, that and Logan were probably... Well, my top two, I think. I mean, I love Baby Driver. It was just basically just car chases. It really wasn't a story, really, so much. This is kind of like a... There was a story. Acting wasn't exemplary. I, no, nobody said about the acting. Well, I'm just saying. It's not it, like, it was it's a not fun... I would not put it in the level of Logan. 
No, no. M- one of my favorite films, though. Oh. I oh. liked it because of his originality. I liked oh, it because yeah. of its okay. soundtrack. I liked well, it because soundtrack of its, was epic. I liked it because of its characters. And I was... And Logan did the same thing for me. I'm not... A good movie doesn't always just say a most amazing performance of all time. I saw Phantom Thread. Amazing performances all around, but I thought the movie sucked. Mm. I thought it was boring. I thought it was pretentious. Mm. But I don't know. You can have an okay cast, but it could be a great movie, or it could be a really well-acted movie, Mm. and still you might not like it. So I guess Baby Driver, I enjoyed the whole thing. I just enjoyed enjoyed it. it. Yeah, I did enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. I liked its originality. It was very different. It was. And I'm, it was way different. It was even just very di- little different. It was like... Yeah, and I think that's what I liked about it. Yeah. Like, I wanted something different. Like, you know, you got the MCU. They have been changing up with each movie. Yeah. And you're just kind of like, man, I just want to see something non-superhero related, you yeah. know? And it it, nice. that was a great, great yeah. flick for that. Which is why I think that we're starting to get around to. You're starting to get a lot more films that are not... Superhero movies that are no, we're not actiony. No, I said that's what we like need to get around to. <laughs> yeah, is action films like like you're saying with Tomb Raider. It's not a superhero movie so much. I mean, it's a superhero movie, I guess. Well, it's, it's a video yeah. game movie. Yeah, but I mean, it's not as like not. She doesn't have superpowers, so to speak. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It was back cool. to the old like Indiana Jones type of. Yeah, so, like, like action just flicks. just a fun flick, like um, Die Hard, like that kind of stuff. Yeah, um, I you know what? Well, before we get to the trailer, yes, I've been on a Coen Brothers kick. Have you now? I've never saw the original Fargo movie, and I watched that what two weeks ago. Yeah, really? I know. Even I've seen that. I loved it. Then we watched it was fantastic. I've re I rewatched Burn After Reading. I love that. That was very good. I liked it more the second time, and I never saw the Big Lebowski. What? And I just watched it last night, and I loved it. Are you it. serious? Yeah. I never saw it. How are we friends if you've never seen The Big Lebowski? I've never heard you talk about The Big Lebowski once. I've seen it multiple times. I've never heard you talk about it. Um, Didn't they also do uh, the uh, the Matt Damon, Greg Kinnear movie? Were they attached to the hip? Was that the Coen brothers? No, that's the Farrell brothers. Farrell brothers. brothers. <laughs> oh, I knew it was something like that. Different. It was one of those brothers. Those do comedies. Yeah. Um, yeah, Big Lebowski was awesome. Yes. Um, it felt, it had the Fargo vibe uh, because it's just, it's just like, it's funny because I watched Fargo, Burn After Reading, and now Big Lebowski. Mm. And, it, and uh, Burn After Reading was basically about a woman who wanted to get, uh, a better body and implant and all this crazy shit happens and really nothing really happens because it was just all BS. And then you watch Big Lebowski and it's about the dude who some guy pees on his rug and all he wants is to be reimbursed for his rug and then antics ensue and it was all a farce and all he wanted was a new rug. Yeah. It's all what the Big Lebowski is about, but it was freaking amazing. I miss those kind of movies. Like, so I'm kind of on uh, a Coen Brothers kick. Um, I got more to watch. Uh, I still haven't seen Brother Where, Art, Where Aren't Thou. I'm going to watch That's, that. I was just going to say, I was making sure that was a Coen's Brother movie. Yeah. That's like one of my top five favorite movies of all time ever. Yeah, I still got to watch that. Oh, my God. Are you, you have not seen Old Brother Where Aren't Thou? No. Brian, how are we friends? It's like reevaluating my friendship with you all of a sudden. Why? I can't believe you haven't seen Big Lebowski and Our Brother Right. Well, I, I've seen Big Lebowski. I just watched it. I know, but just now I'm saying, like, I thought you had already seen it, like, no, beforehand. No, no. I've always heard people wow. tell me how good it was. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of... Um, wow. Yeah. Our Brother Right, though, is, like, one of my favorite movies. It's, like, the only movie, like, one of the few movies I actually own the movie poster for. No, I, I gotta watch it. Like, I, like, was dove deep into bluegrass music after that. You dove deep, yeah. Like I was like, right all into about Mufford and Sons, and you're like, That's yeah. Good. I was all about. No, it was even before Mufford and Sons. I it was it like was. the Skaggs brothers. Was it like uh, Ricky Skaggs and all that? Man, that was good stuff. I was all about that movie. Yeah, I, I'm. Um, yeah, I got more. John I, Turturro. Oh. Yeah, John. John Turturro. Goodman. John Goodman's in that too. Yeah, John Goodman's in it. He was amazing in Big Lebowski. He was, he was so good. He was. He was also funny on Saturday Night Live this weekend. I didn't watch it. That's Rex Tillerson. It was very funny. I gotta watch it. I gotta yeah. watch it. All right. So, All right. The Avengers. Infinity War trailer number two. 
So if you're at home, follow along. Follow along. On your favorite YouTube version. It's a city spitting. I'm assuming that's... The entire time I knew him, he only ever had one goal. Who's that talking? It's Gamora. It's Gamora? Yes. So I, I reread this weekend Infinity Gauntlet. Okay, why are you talking so softly? Like it's like the game so being all sensuous thing you're doing. I reread Infinity Gauntlet over the weekend. Over the weekend, with the candles in the bathtub full of bubbles. I seduced <laughs> Infinity Gauntlet. We made love for Infinity Times. I read it to Allison as I bathed in a bath full of bubbles. I lit some candles. <laughs> My cat was worried. <laughs> Penelope was like, "What's going on?" Penelope, that's not a cat's name. Um. <laughs> So, Petunia? Petunia. That's it. Um, I think it was something with a P. So, it would be really cool uh-huh. that when we all go see this flick, yes. I, I come up with... We all pick a stone to be? No. I'll be the soul stone. Well, I, I, I have four, I make four predict, like I write in a piece of paper, I put four question, like a questionnaire. Like who's we all, die? Like predictions. And I hand it out to everybody. We all fill it out. And when we go to Denny's, I reveal what everybody said. And right. we can... That would be a lot of fun. Off this trailer, I'll already tell you who I think is going to die. Okay. Um, maybe you shouldn't tell me. All right. We should wait for the Denny's podcast. Okay. I think that would be a lot more fun. All right. Um, <laughs> Why just me like that? What? Just like, give me like this weird look. Like, yeah, don't tell me. <laughs> don't I don't want to know. <laughs> Um, I can keep a secret. So in Guardians of the Galaxy 2, yes. we saw... <laughs> what is up with you today? At the end, we saw Warlock. Yes, we did. We didn't see what we saw his cocoon. We saw his cocoon, and she said, I'll call you Adam. Adam Warlock. We assume it's Adam Warlock. Or it could be the superhero Adam. Honestly, Who if they're no going to fight about. Thanos, Adam Warlock... He's is, the only person that could defeat Thanos, supposedly. Well, he's one of the main protagonists that pushes and sets up the whole fight. Yes. Um, and it is his daughters are Gamora and Nebula. Nebula. Nebula is the one that gets the glo- the glove off of him. Yes. And defeats him. Yes. Because then she takes the glove. Yes. But then. Thanos joins the Avengers. Yes, to defeat Adam Warlock. No, oh. to take the glove off Nebula. Nebula, so Adam Warlock rules the glove. That was his whole plan the whole time. Adam Warlock wants the glove, and they said, "Well, how can we trust you over everyone else that's yeah. had this?" And he basically says, "Because I know everything. He is the soul gem." Yes, because when Thanos has the glove on. He knows Thanos because he's part of the Soul Gem. Mm. And remember how we were trying to figure, figure out, out where who the Soul Gem, gem is? And they put Iron she invented, Man? She invented, yeah, she invents Adam it, Warlock. So that makes sense, giving him a soul. That makes sense. Yeah, I mean, maybe the whole um, Iron Man was a red herring because we haven't seen Adam Warlock yet. No, and Iron Man goes in space, so. Okay, so we think that maybe... Because Iron Man, we're assuming, goes to meet the Guardians. So it's the Soul a, Gem. Because he gets a... I'm assuming there's going to be some kind of distress call from Thor's ship. Yeah, and we do know... We do know that he doesn't have all the gems... In, well, in part of this movie. We see the glove, and it's missing there's gems. Only one thing, yeah, that one gem is the big one. That's so, okay, right if now. Adam Warlock is connected to the Soul Gem... Because even, like, in the... If you've gotten the uh, Ancient Weekly that just came out recently, the Avengers... Special yeah. edition one, yeah, which has like nine thousand covers. Uh, they tell you where each gem is at this very moment. And was the soul gem mentioned? The soul gem is not mentioned. That is the one gem that no so, one knows where it is. Because we're assuming it's going to be revealed in this. Do movie. we want to believe? Because a lot of these characters aren't part of the comic that happened. Yeah, no, I assume if Warlock, I'm, I'm was going to bring it up today that I thought that was because I rewatched also. You rewatched it? Yes. You reread it? No, rewatched. Uh, What'd you watch? Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Oh. Oh, okay. Was on. I, I just remember it. the ending part, but. Yeah. Um, and that was the thing that I was like, ooh, that's where the Soul Gem is. 
Well, that's we... how she made. I'm assuming that's how she made Adam. Yeah, maybe that makes sense. It would make sense. And because it gave him a soul. So if if this en- now here is the thing: does this movie is it going to be like we're going to see this one and then part two is next year? That's the rumor. The the conundrum that no one's really like said like no one like this just is called Infinity War. It doesn't say and it, that's the gauntlet. Infinity War or like. Infinity I, Gauntlet might be the second one. I think it got leaked by one of the actors that this, they've been working on the second part. I think they've worked on both the parts together. together but I'm thinking and of they're finishing gonna... up the second part now. Yeah. But I think it's that's what's going to be. Like, this one is the Infinity War, the battle for Infinity the Gauntlet and everything. Be... Then the next one will be Infinity Gauntlet. I'm yeah, gonna, something like that. Possibly. Or just be Infinity War Part 2. So if Warlock's introduced in this movie... Or at the War... end of this movie. The end. Warlock could be... The one who the real big they can, is the only one who could be trusted to have the gauntlet. Yeah. If Thor is. Yeah. Now in the comic, um, Nebula, she is Thanos takes her and she, her body is destroyed and she's almost like this decrepit mummy zombie, mm. and she's just standing there and he's basically he hates her so much that. It's basically torture. Like, I could kill you. You're yeah. on death's door, but I'm going to keep you in the state so you can watch everything happen. Yeah. And she's missing an eye, and she's, like, uh, almost just bones and flesh falling off of her. Yeah. And she, he doesn't really pay attention to her when everything's going on. Mm. And then he so – something in the Marvel comics, he's got to deal with the the gods, you know. Mm. The, the, the new gods. The, the like these people that are not even part of the MCU. And well, they kind of... We haven't are. gotten there. You're talking about the Watcher. You're talking about Ego. Uh, well, you're because we had about... that one scene. Was it Golden Zagal? Was it Guardians 2? Or Thor? Where they had this scene where Stan Lee's standing on the thing. Yeah, and the Watcher. The... But that was, a, that was a thing. The Watchers. But I'm saying that could be like... It might... It just a little... Well, the Watchers, thing that's yeah, there. the Watchers in them in the Marvel universe exist, the but that, they can't change anything. No, they can't they interfere with do, anything. There is one of them that <coughs> goes rogue. Well, you can he can change he can change things. Yes, he feels that was like Secret Empire, I think, or one of those. It's basically the, or one they, of the random. Yeah, who killed the Watcher? Yeah, it's basically their way of retconning things if it gets too crazy. Yeah, which could be what this is going to be, but. When Thanos becomes like this almighty powerful thing, yeah, his body becomes like this comatose, and everybody's staring into the, the stars. And Thanos mm. is like, "I've become the universe," mm. and she just goes, Whoop, takes the gold right off, and mm. everybody didn't expect that, and that's how she did it. Mm. And then when she put the glove on, she became um, a person again, or yeah. you know, herself again. Yeah. It healed her. Yeah. Um, so it'd be interesting. Because they've already set a contentious relationship between Thanos and his daughter. Zzz. Well. Gamora, yes. too. Yeah, yeah Gamora. Um, so it's going to be interesting. I want to make prediction cards, though. Don't, yeah, don't say. I don't want to talk about it. I, maybe me and you can talk about it the week before. But for all our friends, I want to make mm. prediction cards, come up with really some good predictions. Yeah. And it would be real, a lot of fun to see like how close we get. Yeah. Because what happens is before the movie, we make all these predictions. And then after the movie, we like, well, you know, I was saying that. And big, yeah. But like, if we write it down, it would be cool. Yeah. I think it would be a lot of fun. So let's finish the trailer. Okay. I think I have that too much. That went off the, the chains there for a second. Yeah. So we start off with the scene of the city flipping. And now we got the scene of Scarlet. Oh, well, not Scarlet. But Scarlet who was talking? Gamora's talking. Oh, was it? Yes. All right. The entire time I knew him, he only ever had one goal. So Gamora yes. knows about Thanos is uh, wanting to take over the whole oh, universe. Oh, yeah, because that's she's been to that many times. There's Black Widow, Hulk. To wipe out half the machine. universe. We don't have to tell her. People just watch the trailer. Well, I'm just saying, some yeah, people yeah. would know. It's so this out. is Doctor Strange's, we see Doctor Strange's window. Yes, the house, now, yes. Doctor Strange does not fight in battle, but he is someone... In the gauntlet, where characters get thrown by Thanos into different universes, different dimensions like dimensions, different parts of time, and Thanos is the—I mean, Doctor Strange is the only one person who can find them and bring them back. 
Mm. So that's something he does in the comic. I'm sure. I bet you anything. He's not going to be someone who fights per se, but he's going to be someone on the outside. He's going to be. He's going to be the kid at the the computer, like in Homecoming. Yeah, that's like going to be his the, job. The support guy. Yeah. Um, and it's such a shame that we don't have Silver Surfer in this universe because Silver Surfer is the one who shows up at Doctor Strange's house, mm. like in telling him what's going on. Yeah. Like we don't have that, so I feel like it's going to be Iron another character, Iron Man, and someone else. Because in the the EW, like the photo stills, that's like Iron Man and the guys from uh, Doctor Strange. Okay. Yeah. Doctor Strange sense. and his sidekick guy there. He gets all the infinity stones. He can do it with the snap. So that's of the his blue one. Yeah. Just like that's that. That's the Tesseract. Tell me his name. He's again. gonna get from Thanos. He's gonna get from Loki. We got one advantage. He's coming to us. We have what Thanos wants. So that's what we use. I think so, so far you've seen three stones in this so far. Yeah. You've seen the blue stone, which is a tesseract, which he gets from Loki, because Loki has stolen it yeah. from Asgard before it imploded because of Hela. Yeah. From Thor three. You've seen Doctor Strange as a time gem in his little amulet. Mm-hmm. And Vision has the mind gem in his head. Yeah. So that's three of the stones. Yeah. Let's talk about this plan of yours. I think it's good, except it sucks. So let me do the plan, and that way it might be really good. Wow. <laughs> there are a lot of Captain America is in Wakanda, and then Iron Man ends up in Wakanda. Like the thing is that a lot of people are saying, and a lot of thought process on this is, is that Wakanda is going to be the last stronghold. Like. Thanos has basically taken over everything, but Wakanda has never been invaded before because mm-hmm. it has the vibranium shield. shield that they've developed. That the big thing is going to be that Thanos's army is going to be trying to get into Wakanda because that's where the last stone is going to be mm-hmm. that he needs. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like the Hulk is in the Hulkbuster. That'd be cool. Because then Tony Stark would have control of him. He couldn't just go crazy. Yeah, that's true. Right? Because a robot would actually Well, I think the thing, too, him. is they're going to they're gonna finally get to the part where Bruce Banner can control the Hulk. Well, or they've worked out the, the... The kinks? The kinks in the Hulk. The end is near. Still exist. Perfectly balanced. As all things should be. I hope they remember you. See when he's uh, holding. Uh... When he's holding, ah, well, right there. When Dan, he oh, he, he's missing two. He's missing. Two. All he has he's is got the purple two. and blue. And the blue, the purple is the. Uh... Oh, which one was the purple one? Blue is tesseract. Yellow is mind. Green is time. Purple in this is either the ether. Ether? There's no ether. The ether from uh, Thor, the dwarf war battle one. <laughs> you're, you're making it. The white dwarfs. The one with the the guy had the. Oh God! Here we the go. The, Tesseract not... is a space stone. Ether is reality yeah, stone. There's the, shut up. Orb, power stone, Loki, specter of vision, mind stone, 
Soul Stone time zone. Time stone. Yeah. So I'm trying to think about so the orb. Oh, here we go. Here's a good picture. Oh, that's the one that uh that uh who's he Watson had? Ronan is a purple one. That's the one that's uh the Nova Corps has on Xandar. So that's the purple one. So he gets that one. He has the purple, the power gem. Yes. He and has the blue. The the purple and the blue and the ones. Purple and the blue in this scene. And that's Mind the, but he has the one that's on his That's thumb. from the Spectre, and that's from Guardians the of the from Galaxy. Orb. That's from Loki and Guardians. The time gem we know is with... Uh, Isn't the time gem... The Tesseract is the space gem. But the Tesseract is his scepter, though. That's the, that's the mind gem. No, that's not right. No, because scroll back down. Hold on. The mind gem is green. Thanos. Here we go. Space was a tesseract. That was is a tesseract. The specter is mind. They're two different. But no, because what was the one that? Oh, they took they took that out of the scepter and put it into. Vision? No, the mind gem was from Avengers One. Yeah, but the that tesseract... was a tesseract, though. I thought. I don't know, dude. It's showing it. I think that's wrong because I think the green gem. Necklace. Is... The time gem, is. I think that's wrong. I think the green because see it's green in the necklace. So I think the green one is the time gem. The scepter I don't is think they're wrong. the space gem. I think this is... Let's go to what I think it was. This is right. The scepter from... from uh, Here we go. Here's another one. It gives you the people. Oh, boy. I don't want a video. I don't want a video. Yeah. I think the yellow one is the one that's in uh, the yellow one is in Vision. <laughs> I like I No, because the other one's in Vision's head. Yeah. The purple one was the uh Here's Ronin. Wiki. Was Ronin in uh Galaxy Guardians of Galaxy One that Ronin had. That they put inside the thing and gave to Nova Corps. Ether is red, and that's the one that is with the collector that they gave that uh Lady Sif gave to the collector at the end of uh Thor two. Um, and then the one that was the Tesseract, which they shrunk down and put in that Loki shrunk down and put in his scepter, was on Space Stone. Blue. Yeah. Origin, Tesseract. Yes, but that was on... Inside the Statesman. Current owner, Loki, since 2017. Yes, that Loki has. That he's one that he has. Mindstone, yellow. Yeah. Blue with Spectre. Um, current location, Earth, in Vision's head. Yeah. Reality Stone, That's red. The ether. It's the ether, known in the Collector's Museum. Yes. Uh, current owner... Tenelier Tyvan since 2013. That's the collector. Power Stone, purple, orb. Current location, Alexander, inside the Nova Corps headquarters. Yes, that was Ronan. Had that one. Time Stone, green. Yes. Uh, Earth Doctor inside New York one. Sanctum, Doctor Strange. Yes. Soul Stone. That's the one that we have no Unknown, idea. unknown, unknown. unknown. Cosmic Entities. Description, little is known as Soul Stone. However, according to Wong's ancient text, the Soul Stone could provide to be the greatest threat out of the Infinity Stones. That's the Warlock one. Yes, probably. So that's where it all are. Okay. There you go. So I knew there was, like, it wasn't, they're in, like, weird locations, the, the three of them, the four of them, I should say. <laughs> Did we watch the whole thing here? Oh, is there any more? <laughs> Peter, by the way. Doctor Strange. Oh, I'm using your made-up names. Then I am Spider-Man.
And the more I see the trailer, like the more times I watched it, the more I think Spider Man again is gonna steal the movie. I don't think he's in it that be, much. I don't think he's the parts he's in, he's gonna be like it's gonna be. Well, he's gonna be a comic gonna relief. Be, but he's gonna be awesome in it though. Oh, of course, I agree. Uh, he's got the cool new suit. Mm. Um, I think either Tony Stark or uh, Captain America are front runners for main losses. Yeah. We're going by that. Captain America, Vision. Um, well, Vision, the thing with Vision is he's developed himself so much that the, sh- the sh- thing about it is they think one of the rumors is that Vision can survive without the mind gem now. Well, he's an AI. Yeah. He'll rip the gem out of him. Yeah. He'll die. But for some reason, his AI will survive somewhere yeah. else. Yeah. I, he's a robot, yeah. so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. But I think Vision's dead as we know him. Mm. Um, we also saw in one of the trailers that Vision looks like a person. Yes, and, and, he's able to turn himself into when he's not the superhero <laughs> version of Vi- Vision. Yeah, he's just like a regular Paul Bettany because that was Paul Bettany didn't want to have to be in the full blown body suit thing all the time. He's like, I don't want to be in a bodysuit. Well, because the no prosthetics more. were just so much, he didn't want to go through that again. Well, I mean, it's his last movie anyway, so. Supposedly. <laughs> well, who's the guy that's it. fighting Doctor Strange, though? That's the other thing. Is like That's like one of Thor, Thor Thanos' henchmen. Yes. We're assuming. Yes. But he does have henchmen. Yes. In the comic. Yes. And. Because he has Doctor Strange all, like, strung up. Yeah, which is crazy. Yeah. So maybe Doctor Strange is someone who does hang back, and then they know where well, he is. They showed things where he's like throwing the shield things, and the guys are jumping across the, like I think it was Black Panther jumping across the different, like yeah. But Doctor Strange is not part of that. Yeah, because he's got like the things he's jumping on are the little shield things Doctor Strange throws. Oh, man! I, I don't know. This is going to be crazy. Yeah. So we are like what a month away. If that, yeah. When does close. it come out? 27th. We're getting close. Like a month and 10 days or something like that. A month and a week. Yeah. I'm excited. Not only am I excited for the movie to come out, I'm excited for because I'm going on a trip to Disney. And my trip to Disney is literally the week before it comes out. Oh, yeah. So I'm hoping that there's like a slew of like Avenger stuff going on. They're gonna pull you and make you want to see a preview. You're like, yeah. I'm hoping. That's, a, that's like what do I deep in the back of my brain? There's like something that's gonna be like, there's gonna be some like secret viewing that I'm gonna get to go see. I'm gonna get to see it for you guys. <laughs> that's not gonna happen. I hope so. <laughs> it's it would be pretty cool if you got that. Like, but I can, I doubt. Sworn to secrecy. We've heard you're into Avengers. We we're the we're one out of the twelve listeners for yes. the podcast. <laughs> We've been listening to your podcast. <laughs> we know how much you are to Avengers, so we're gonna. Oh, that'd be hilarious. Let you watch it before anyone else does. Our, our, um, We're going to double feature it with Solo as well. Our, lo- our local uh, lackey who lives in the dungeon. Speaking of local lackeys who don't live in dungeons, but local old-time radio lackeys, uh, the hockey game Friday, I ran into Rock and Robin. Oh, she yeah. was there with her new boyfriend. Yeah, I, I saw her at Best Buy. Yeah. She works at Best Buy. Oh, does she? Yes. Oh, but she was just on the concourse. I was like, hey, I know you. So I got to chat for a little bit. It was kind of cool. I haven't seen her in forever. She's actually going down to Disney like next weekend. So she lives there. Yeah, practically. Well, no, she's up here now. I know, yeah. I know. But she did used to work at Disney. She did she, for a long time. Um, what other big happening? So we should talk about the events this weekend. We didn't events talk about this weekend. That. Yes, yes. Did we talk about that? We did, you kind of glossed over it. You said you want to talk about it later, so it's yeah. now later. Let's let's talk about uh, this weekend. This at, Sunday. Uh, well, before let's, that, let's this, talk about no, well this Sunday. The one that matters to you, to me, and to all you people out there. Well, the one Connecticut. Over the other people might want to go. The other one. As you well. should go to the Eclipse Con. Yes, in Bristol. Bristol Double Tree Suites in Bristol, I believe. Uh, it's Sunday, ten to three. Ten to three. Two dollars to get in. Yes. Yes, it's ten to three. Yeah. Um, well, there's video game tournaments that are happening as well, that are being put on. So mm. they're going a little bit later than three. So it's going to like four. Yeah. 
Is there an event on Facebook that someone made? There is an event on Facebook. Because I should invite all the locals to do the East has, Windsor one. CliffCon has uh, the... It's their event. Okay. But so it'll be on that. You can share. I'm going to share that. Because yeah, I'll share it a, lo- a lot of people who go I'll to the East you Winter right Con. I'll you to it right now. I, I, yeah, I think I'm already in there. I'll check it later. Um, so that's happening this weekend. I'm definitely going to try to go. Um, I will be there. It's, they're going to have 80-plus vendors. It's called Cliff's Con Special Edition. Yeah, this is going to be pretty cool. There's some stuff I want to pick up. Double Tree I- by Hilton in Bristol, Connecticut. Nice. Yeah, you're already on here. So, what's the other one that's happening? GamerCon is happening at Woo-hoo! the Weekend Sun. Yeah. Two days, Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. At the Weekend Sun Casino. Cool. Uh, the last, uh, I don't know the name of his company, but Mitch Halleck's shows that he puts on. The last one happening in you know the uh, Convention Center. Uh, Terrific Con will be the first show to happen in the new Expo Center that they're building at the uh, at the Mohegan Sun Casino, uh, that space is going to be ginormous. I think it's like some crazy huge amount of space that they have for the uh, convention center. But uh, is it Mohegan? Yes, yes. GamerCon. <sighs> Two days, Saturday and Sunday. It's twenty dollars to get in. Twenty bucks to get in. That's not bad. That's expensive. That's no, cheaper than most things. Eh. You go to CliffsCon for two dollars. Yes, you can. T- adults to get in twenty bucks. Kids under ten are free. Yep. Um, Saturday from noon to ten, and Sunday from eleven a.m. to five p.m. In the Uncas Ballroom, as they call it. Oh, so it's not even in this new thing. No, it's, in it's not. It's the old space. The new space. Uh, will be uh, terrific. Con will be in the new space. Gamer Con, competitive video games, tabletop game, cosplay, and more. Oh, they have tabletop door prizes, cosplay. Shop for artwork, retro games, magic cards, Funko, and cool stuff. Sort of like the one I went to. Um, <coughs> Expo Center last year. Yes. That was a lot of fun. So if you're in the area, go check this out. Yeah, they have, they have a lot uh, of cool stuff happening. Some voiceover guests are going to be there as well. I'm not sure who exactly. That's probably on the page that I'm you can find. right now. Uh, guests. Is it... They have voice actors and pro gamers. So did you hear um, Drake played with one of the biggest... Um, Fortnite. Yeah, uh, Fortnite players Ninja, and it ha- had six hundred thousand yes watchers on st- on Twitch. Twitch, and it was a broke a record, and people loved it. Having Drake, what is play. Fortnite? Why do I need to care about it? I I, I don't care about. It. I played it. <laughs> Fortnite, it's a, a multiplayer game. It's sort of like it reminds me a lot of like a phone game. It, it just actually went to phones today. Oh, okay. um, but multiplayer game, it's been out for a couple of years. It just caught on last summer. Um, and you basically, you build a fort and you have hordes of zombies come after you. Mm. Or you can go versus and you build things. Mm-hmm. But this guy Ninja builds things so quickly. It's like, oh my God, like it's crazy. Mm. Um, but Fortnite has really caught on big over the winter time, mm. and this whole Drake playing with this guy Ninja is like mm. huge. I guess huge. Um, f- so guests coming to uh, GamerCon this weekend: Raphael, Raphael Fiera, who did Knights of the Old Republic, it was one of the movies he was in. He played Darth that's, Malak. That's, that's not a movie; it's a game. I know. I said. No, he said it, one of the movies. Oh, voices. I said. Um. Let's see, um, Ryan Stavell. Stavell, who was... Uh, Soul Hunters, Tekken 7, Avengers Arcade, he played Venom and something. And that's it! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whew! There's probably more, but... That was see. big. Let's go to the programmers. That was a big one. Featured players. Uh, some guy who plays... Mars. 
some games, Smash Brothers 4. Yeah. Uh, some GC other guy who does something else. And that's it. Two dudes. Cosplayers. You got two dudes. Cosplayers. This is going to be it. This is going to be the big one. Cosplayers. Contest. Uh, judges include Maisie Cosplayer. Moezy. Cos Babes. Cos Babes. Uh, Sheena. Yes. Was it at Cosbays? MJ Darling. Yes, another one at Cosbays. Baby Mischief. Nurse Dance Party. Nurse Dance Party. And then uh, that's, that's exciting. Yeah. I'm so excited. Yeah, it's so the second annual GamerCon. Check it out. Uh, you also got Ooh. the... Uh, They're, oh, they're going to have the exhibitors. Microsoft will be there. Yeah. Gorilla Games. Comic Folds. Man, I'd go there just for that. GT Games and More, Hickory Arms, the Mechanical Meow, Modern Miss. Happy Dance Costumes, Old School Gamer. Video Game Shadowbox. Ah. Taylor Made. The golf con. course. Golf people will be there. That's pretty cool. That's kind of random. I would go just to meet Gorilla Games. Oh, okay. I don't know what uh, Gorilla Games are. Um, in Microsoft's there, 3D painting by Monkey Chris. Mm. So there you go. Yeah, check that out. That's going to be what they call off the charts. But then, uh, you Should be a good time. I wish it was closer, honestly. Yeah, that is one of the downsides. It's a kind of a drive. I don't want to drive to Mohegan. It's funny because people will be like, well, the parking's free. So they really, that's great, but you got to drive 40 minutes to get there. So I could care less if the parking is free. And the reason parking's free is because they want you to spend money inside, which is smart. That's the only thing I wish the Expo Center, I know the Expo Center in Hartford's got to make money, but I wish the parking was cheaper. Mm. But when I went to the to the RetroCon, because I was, at, uh, I was going to the RetroCon, I got a... They gave you um, a thing for parking with your ticket, and parking was only eight bucks, mm-hmm. as opposed to being fifteen or more, which it can be if you're there longer. So that was kind of cool. Mm. So uh, CliffsCon Special Edition, what you were saying, like I said, it's at the, uh, it's originally at the, uh, the VFW in Plainville, but this time it's going to be at the DoubleTree by Hilton Hotel in Bristol, Connecticut. That's 42 Century Drive in Bristol, Connecticut, for you folks out there. Uh, Matt Ryan will be there from Free Lunch Comics. And a bunch of other uh, great sellers will be there. Uh, they have always have Gold and Silver Age comics, graded comics, comic supplies, wax boxes, and autographs as well. Uh, cool. I'm excited. I know uh, Chris Vasekis is going to be there with his book, as well as his uh, comic books that he's selling. Uh, I know Jeremy Wise is going to be having his books there for sale as well that he's trying to get rid of. Oh, Jeremy's going to be selling stuff there? Yeah, I think him and Chris are teaming up for a table. Uh, So yeah, so there's going to be them and a whole bunch more. It's going to be the probably the biggest CliffsCon ever. So it's worth checking out. Yeah. They're just fun times even when they're not at this show. Just the monthly shows at Plainville are always a good time. Yeah. So if you can't make this one, uh, usually every month, it's usually the last Sunday of every month, they have the shows at the Plainville VFW Mm. from 10 to 3. Uh, So, yeah, so check them out because they're they're good times. If you're into, like, comic collecting or you're even into just looking at comics, it's not that expensive. If you're just looking for something to do and you want to, like, check out something. Yeah, I want to go diving. There's a bunch of different stuff. There's not just comics. There's collectibles. There's... I know there's going to be some comic artists that are going to be there. Mm-hmm. There's some rumored people, which I'm not allowed to talk about, who might be there. Why? It's happening Because it's week? not like for sure they're going to show up, so I can't oh, like gotcha. promise they're going to be there. Can you, na- can you give names that rhyme? Can Willie, you rhyme the Willie, name? Willie Lucy, supposedly, might show up. Willie Lucy? Yeah, you said that rhymes with it. Willie Lucy? Yes. What rhymes with Willie Lucy? If you know who that, if you know who comic artists are, you would know exactly who that was. He's at a lot of shows. Stanley. Yes. 
That's what rhymes with William Lucy. <laughs> I knew it. It yes. was Stan Lee. Yes. But, that yeah. poor guy. He's getting hosed, man. Did you hear? Yeah, I've heard. Yeah. People are taking his money left and right. Yeah. He's they're saying that if this doesn't stop, he's gonna be poor. Yeah. Well, that's the the bad side of what he's. Yeah, but we should be got going as on. the fans who enjoy his films that are based on comics he made. I feel like we should start a movement to help protect him. It seems weird that we all just stand by and do nothing, but well, we've kind of that with everything, haven't we? No, that's gone on with that whole situation. What Stanley? I didn't know about it until I read the article. I'm not well, part what of the situation. Life. Are you talking about with Stanley? The article I read was that his <laughs> let me see what his, you were one of his about best him. friends slash manager. Yes, his has um, extorting from him. He's done some shady things, mm. and his daughter is trying to protect him. Mm. But um, there's money disappearing. People are taking money. Mm. Because he's losing his faculties, yeah. he doesn't know what's going on. Yeah. And his daughter's trying to protect him, but she's saying at this rate, his his longtime Millions. manager yeah. and all these people are taking advantage of him, and that mm. he might not have the money he wants. I know there's had. been rumors that he's been booked at places, but he's never actually booked. At these places, well, like, last year or the year before was his last time. So yeah, he's done. But I mean, like there was like there was things going around where people were like booking him, but they didn't have the rights to book him. Yeah, people do that all the time. They stuff. lie to get people in the door, yeah. and they go, oh, "He canceled." Yeah, yeah, that's bull. They yeah. always do that. This shady yeah. stuff. You remember that guy we talked to who made the, the Tardises? Yeah, and they stole his photos, and they yeah. said he was going to be in England. Yeah, and then he's just like he called them up. He goes, "Listen, I'm not going to be there." Yeah. Who did this? And come to find out the person who put it together just would say it. Yeah. And then he felt bad. And remember, well, there's a whole he thing. Because that was why he was at that show that we talked to him about. Because they did the same thing for that show. And then the people called him up and were like, we're just making sure you're coming. And he's like, I've never heard of you. Who are you? Yeah, there was like some pretending. <laughs> like, oh, okay. Or... So like he ended up having to – like he ended up doing the show anyways, which – was like a twelve-hour ride for him with all of his stuff and everything. Yeah, so I mean, this happens a lot. Yeah, people like to take advantage. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, kind of hope someone can help Stan Lee out. That sucks. Yeah, it's the dark side of comic comic convention. It's world. the dark side of just being old and famous. Like I just was talking to uh, a friend of I think of our show of the show Zach, who does public access and chill. Uh, the show that's going around. It's a pretty popular comic show that they got going around. I don't air this show. Um, What's it called? Public Access and Chill. He's a, a nephew of uh, Media Factory. One of the guys in Media Factory fame. Oh, okay. Uh, so it's a very avant-garde show. That's why I haven't gotcha. passed it on to you. Oh, um, okay. Maybe I'll... Yeah, yeah, I wanted you to take a look at it first before I just hand it over to you. <laughs> oh, uh, boy. But uh, no, it's huge because they're, like, they're actually doing live shows now. At like comics at Mohegan and Foxwoods are doing like live shows with this. I mean, it's actually treated to a thing. It's a comedy show. Cause but it's actually treated to a thing. But if you turn to your to, girlfriend and says, let's do public access and chill, it's she's not what you think it is. She's yeah. going to break up with you. Probably. But uh, he just went to uh, Monster Mania, which we used to go to all the time. His one in New Jersey was really good. Yes. Tim Curry was there. Yeah. And he said he just went this last. One because of the Tim Curry. I know. I I really Pee-wee wanted to Herman go. Herman was there. Yeah, and huge. A lot of huge names. Yeah, but it's still being done in that same hotel that we used to go to. Yeah, and he said it was a madhouse, and it was un like going to like you went there, and the fire marshal like they did I it heard. in Rhode Island. Yeah, shut the place down basically. It didn't and once you're in, you're in. Yeah, if you go back outside to your car to drop stuff off to come back in. You're not coming back in. They won't let you back in. Yeah. You were out. You were done. They got to bring it to a new venue. Uh, so, yeah, it's gotten way bigger than it was. Like, it got, like, when we stopped going, it, like, I could sense it was heading in that direction. It was getting to that point where it was, like, they teetering be- on the edge of, like, when Medora and all of us went, it was on that edge of being too big for its own, for that space. Boy, well, there's a lot of big names. Yeah. And they've just kept getting bigger and bigger, but they never expanded out to a different location. And the thing is, with that location that they have, 
they're pretty much given that location. They don't have to really pay for it, so that's yeah. why they don't move it. Yeah. Because it's so cheap to rent, so it's like, we'll just keep doing it here. But, but yeah, I guess there was like slews of people that had driven all the way there from far away, and were told they couldn't get in. Oh, what so can you do? There was a lot of hostility and... And that's the dark side of con- like even Rhode Island Comic Cons had that problem and other cons have had that issue. And it's just like the the the, the bad side of Comic Cons. There's too many cons. There's saturation the saturating the market. Mm-hmm. So so yeah. many fucking cons. It's ridiculous. I can't even keep track. I feel like every year there's a new con. Well, if you listen to our comic news show when Matt does the comic report, there's like a, literally a con everywhere. Yeah. Like at any one day, there's a con going on. I somewhere. know. It's ridiculous. And it's not just America. There's like cons. Like when are you everywhere. gonna put the show up on the, the our podcast stream? I haven't seen anything. I know Bobby just put a new D and D up. I know. I'm gonna do them today. I'm gonna do the two. Just put the newest the newest one up. You don't have to put the yeah. old ones up. Just no, put so the I'm gonna new do one. The, the one that Matt uh, he just gave it me the finished one. Didn't Matt do it again with his buddy? No, that was just them just doing a promo for the free lunch stuff because oh. they ever had stuff going on at the free lunch. Gotcha. Him and Fisakis are doing a lot more uh, Facebook Live stuff. Yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, you should put it up there. Yeah, put I got the... it. I'm just going to rip it today. and He just finished it over the weekend. All righty. So it's going up today. Well, Mark. The newest free lunch comic. Hopefully news. we'll see you at the con. Yes, I'll be Post-Con. there. Post con. I will be. I'll, I'll be there, be there uh, walking around. I'll be there all day. Uh, probably at either the uh, <laughs> free lunch uh, studios booth. Or I'll be at uh, Jeremy Wise's booth. I'll probably be floating between the two of them. So stop by, say hello. And uh, we'll see you next week. All right. See you later. Later, everybody.